All right, everybody. So I am going to show you in this video how to divide a network into subnetworks with our subnetting uh, lessons so far. So I strongly urge you to have this prerequisite knowledge because everything I explain in those previous videos is going to build up to this video right here. And in the next video, it's going to be especially important because we're going to be actually finding network IDs and doing some other stuff. Um, so for this sake, um, we I would like it if you knew how to classify a network and how it's subnetted. Um, I would like it if you knew subnetting basics. I would like it if you knew terminology. And again, I have all these videos uh, on my channel. Just go in the description. I'll have a playlist put together and you can learn each one individually if you would like to. Okay, so the question that we're presented here is divide the following IP address into eight subnetworks, right? Into eight networks, into eight subnetworks. Um, so the first thing I want to point out, before we actually go through how to do this problem, I just want to point out that this is a class C address, and it is subnetted as a class C, right? So when you're doing these problems, make sure that you know what it's subnetted as, and I'm going to show you why that's important to know. Okay? So, remember that a class C subnet, um, it, or slash 24, um, is 255.255.255.0 okay that is important because what we are going to do so if you watched the previous video you would know how we got this number because we went over it in the the, um, the subnetting basics video so the important thing to know here is that with this subnet mask um, we are going to separate our host bits and our network bits right and the way we do that is since this is a class C subnet, um, subnetting, form of subnetting, we are going to put our line between the network and host bits right here. Okay? So we're going to, since this is a class C network, we're putting it right here. Alright? So these three octets right here, we can put the word network above here. I'm just going to put in to keep it simple. And this one uh, fourth octet here, I'm going to put an H above it. So these are our network bits, and these are our host bits. Okay. Um, a few things about the network bits. If you ever see that there's 255 um, in the octet, in relation to the IP address given, um, wherever there's a 255, so let's say this first octet and this first octet, when you see 255 in the subnet mask, this 192 is not going to change. Okay. Now let's look at the subnet mask again. In the second octet, if we look at the second octet, this 168 in this IP address, it's not going to change. All right, so that one just you can just write those out already, right? Those are fine. And then thirdly, in this third octet, this 65 is not going to change, right? It stays the way it is. All right. Now, the reason I had you do this um, line here to divide between the network and the host bits is because depending on the type of subnetting you're doing, you're I mean, you're pretty much always going to be working on the very first host bit, right? So I'm going to put that actually down in text. That's how kind of important that is. I think that you know that. Um, uh, when doing a subnetting problem, you are always going to work on the first host bit. Um, sorry, first ho host octet, I should say. Um, all right, and that'll make more sense when we do some more difficult uh, problems. And in the next video, when we actually go over finding like hosts and network IDs and stuff like that, this will really stick out. So again, all this information um, is really important to have because we're just kind of like building the foundation. But so another way you can view this subnetting problem right here is that you can view it like this. Okay, so this octet. Let me get my red marker out. We'll just do N8, right? N8. Sorry, it's hard to write with this thing. So we have N8, right? So that means there's eight network bits in this octet. You can write that out here, too. N8. And then right here in this octet, too. N8. Remember, we label, we draw our line between the host bits and the network bits, okay? So these all have eight network bits. These all have ones, right? Think of these numbers in binary. Remember what we learned in some dang basics. One, 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 one. There's eight ones in this octet. There's eight ones in this octet, 
and there's eight ones in this octet, and those ones are our host bits, okay? And in this one, you can think of it as like H8. So there's eight host bits in this one. There's eight zeros at the end of this, all right? So now with that knowledge, the question is, so we're just going to start breaking down how you do this. So um, the question you're going to ask is, let me pull it up here. So 2 to the power of, um, let's see, how do I word this? 2 to the power of, so I guess you could say 2 to the, here, I'm just going to word it as a question. Okay, 2 to the power of what? will give us the exact amount of networks or greater than the amount of networks needed. Okay? So if you think about this question like that, so 2 to the power of what gives us the exact amount of networks, so 8, remember, 8 networks. If we look at the problem again, they need 8 networks or greater than the amount of networks needed. And the reason I say greater than is sometimes you're not always going to get um, exactly eight networks. Um, so for example, let's say if we needed nine, right? So if you know your powers of two, so two to the power of, um, two to the power of three is eight, right? But we can't use that because we need at least nine networks. So let's say if the question asked for nine networks instead of eight. Well, the next best option we can do is 2 to the fourth power which is 16 networks so we need at least if we need at least 9 we would have to do 2 to the fourth power right but in this case um, we have 8 right so 2 to the power of what will give us the exact uh, networks are greater than the networks needed well 2 to the power of 3 right so that's 2, cu two cubed so what we do is we go to our first host bit and we borrow um, whatever we took 2 to that power of, so we did 2 cubed, 2 to the power of 3, we're going to borrow 3 network, we're going to borrow 3 host bits and give it to 3 network bits. Oh, let me rewrite this in. This does not look good. That's not good looking in. Okay, so we're going to have in, yep, in 3, and then that gets subtracted from our number of host bits, right? So if you think about it this way, right, um, this is one way to look at it. So now if you remember that our network bits are 1 and our host bits are 0, right? So we have all these, right? And now we only have, now we actually put three ones in here. So now this fourth octet is 1, 1, 1, and then five zeros. Now the networks and the host, they always have to add up to 8, right? So if you see that there's three networks, you know that there's five host bits, right? So if you see there's three network bits, there has to be five host bits, right? Because they always have to add up to eight. Okay, so now after we did that, <clears throat> we um, can find our new subnet mask um, by just doing our good old binary, right? So remember, our new subnet mask is now going to have three ones on the fourth octet, right? So we are going to have, what is it? So we're going to have, I'm going to turn this black. So our new subnet, whoops our new subnet okay why is that not going to black okay whatever our new subnet uh, is going to be equal to 255.255.255 dot so think about the binary right so we have five host bits that's five zeros those are not adding anywhere it goes from left to right so that's 128 plus 64 plus 32 right so knowing that in our binary um, what is that number? So, okay, so well, 128 plus 64, that's 192, and 192 plus 32 is 224. So our new subnet mask is now 224, and I wish it would let me change this to, there we go, to black, so it fits in with the rest of the text. So our new subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. So one thing I would like to also add before we go is um, if you look at uh, the new number of network 
bits we have here. Remember, on our previous um, IP, we only had slash 24. Well, we added three ones, right? So three network bits um, to this octet in the subnet mask, the fourth octet. So that means our new subnet mask um, as uh, in the CIDR notation. So we can do new CIDR, CIDR subnet mask. It's going to be equal to 3 plus 24, that's 27. So now we have a slash, slash 27 as our CIDR. And that is how we broke it into eight networks. Now, I will say this. Sorry, eight subnetworks. So I will say this, right? Um, one important thing to note here is that usually the questions are not going to be worded this way, and they're usually probably going to want additional information because this is very, very um, basic what we're asking for here. I literally just said divide. I didn't ask for how many hosts there were, and we're going to cover that in the next video, okay? Um, but this is just to kind of show you um, how we get what we get, right, when we're doing these problems and how we actually go about doing them, okay? So now that you know that, I'm going to do another problem in this next video. And we are going to go, we're, going to also, we're not going to bother with dividing the network up anymore. But I am going to show you how to find the network ID, the broadcast ID, um, the host, the number of hosts, so the number of devices that can actually be connected to our uh, network or our subnet, each of our subnets, and the host range, the usable host range for one of our subnets. All right. So I will be right back with you for that video in a jiffy.